looks like the easy money era in crypto might be over. So what does that mean for the broader ecosystem and for consumers who might be looking to pick something up or not? CNBC.com's Mackenzie Sagalos joins us now. Mackenzie, um, I keep wondering, are there more counterparties at risk here? And how is that going to affect how people feel about the opportunity versus risk in crypto. What are you hearing as you have conversations? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's the question that everybody is asking because every other day we learn about a new counterparty that was exposed to Three Arrows Capital, for example. But then you have your platforms like Celsius and Voyager, who were the ones that were really working with your mom and pop investor. And so those days of double digit annual returns are likely a thing of the past because those yields, John, they weren't real in the first place. And this is not, I mean, Celsius was a major player in this ecosystem. Less than a year ago, it had $25 billion in assets under management. And now it's being accused of operating like a Ponzi scheme, that it was paying early depositors with money it got from new users. You know, the other big problem with this idea of easy money uh, no longer being a thing in the crypto ecosystem is that some of these lending platforms were keeping up with these sky high returns by investing their own funds into mm. other platforms doing the exact same thing. So it was this very dangerous knock on effect. And I wonder, I mean, this week we had um, major banks saying that they're going to take a hit to earnings, right, because they're going to build up their reserves because in a difficult economic environment, they expect more people and institutions who they've lent out money to not to pay them back. This is already hitting the crypto ecosystem, right? So does this just make it harder on that already troubled area? Yes, it does. I mean, we've seen this happen time and again, that crypto is not bucking, you know, larger macroeconomic trends at play. They're not immune from what's happening in the traditional financial system. And I mean, like, even just look at what's going on with the Fed, right? There are rumblings that it may hike rates even faster in response to new inflation data. And you got Bernstein putting out a report that says that the crypto market, like all other risk on assets, remains tightly correlated to that Fed policy. So it just goes to show, you know, leverage is a drug. But the second you suck out all of that liquidity for whatever reason, whether it's the Fed or whether it's this domino effect of failures in the crypto ecosystem, the party is over for a lot of these players. OK, but Mackenzie, the party is not over. We're talking about these crypto interest accounts like they're in the past. I'm on the Binance website right now. Grow your crypto faster. Earn up to 35 percent APY. BlockFi for high net worth clients. Earn custom interest rates. I don't understand how this is still working. Yeah. So, I mean, BlockFi just was bailed out and got a, a pretty big loan. FTX is increasingly becoming the player who is propping up this ecosystem. But Deirdre, I feel like you know, there are different ways to earn yield in the crypto ecosystem, and some platforms are doing quite well, quite well right now. So you've got, uh, you know, centralized finance lenders, Celsius and Voyager, who are bankrupt, but you have Aave and Compound, and they appear unscathed by the liquidity bottleneck. And the reason is that they have an entirely different business model. Like, they're letting customers lend capital on a money market. They're asset-backed. They're over-collateralized. So they're not offering as much yield as the numbers that you just cited on other platforms. But it's a system that is working. It will probably survive what we're seeing right now. So, and I will say this, it's worth noting that the tokens associated with both Aave and Compound, they're up around 20% in the last 24 hours. So there is enthusiasm that this corner is, is safe yeah. from the contagion effect.